Hi, this is Nathan at Long McQuaid Northeast, formerly Axe Music on Wayne Gretzky Drive. And uh, since winter's approaching, I figured we could talk a little bit about keeping your guitar humid and uh, not too cold. Uh, humidity is a really big deal in Canada. Since we have such a low humidity level, guitars really suffer. You can have humps in your neck, cracks in the top, uh, sharp bread edges on the side of your fingerboard and uh, other issues like that which are very preventable if you take a couple simple steps and keep your guitar humidified and uh, here at Long McQuay we've got a couple really interesting products that uh, can make that easy for you. I'll just run you through a couple of them here. Um, if your guitar is really dried out like if you have uh, cracks in the finish or if you have actual cracks through the top or in the side or if you feel those spread edges on the edge of your fingerboard uh, something that can bring your humidity up quickly is something like this Oasis product. They make it real simple. If the tube's all shriveled up, then you need to get some more humidity in your case or in your room. Um, if it's staying like a tube, then you probably have a, a fairly good amount of humidity. It's really important to try to keep your guitar in an atmosphere that's 45 to 55% humidity. And that's hard to know unless you have something like a hygrometer. Um, we carry a couple different types here. Um, Oasis, the same brand as this type here. They also have a really interesting product, which is a humidifier that goes between your strings and has a hygrometer and, and a thermostat on the back. Um, either one of those will let you know. If you wanted to get more advanced, Diodario makes something that connects right to your phone with Bluetooth and it'll track it throughout the day let you know if you had a low point in your temperature or a low point in your humidity or a high point in your humidity or your temperature um, less of an issue where we live but uh, if you have too much humidity your top can start to belly or swell um, but that's pretty uncommon in Edmonton um, for a more long-term way to keep your guitar humidified the Humidipack system is a really cool system. They have three different bags that are similar to like a silica salt bag. Uh, that's not what they have in them, but that's what they feel like. If they don't feel like silica salt loose and they start to get hard, that means they've dried out and they need to be replaced. Um, so when you buy the first pack, it has these nice deodario bags that they sit inside of. Um, after that, you can just buy the packs. It's similar to what like a cigar store would have in a humidor to keep cigars uh, humidified. They've just made it as a guitar product. Um, they also have a through string, uh, string through humidifier just with a sponge inside. You wet that with distilled water and shake it off so it's not dripping. You just put that in between your strings just like the Oasis system. Or a cool product is you can get a feedback buster and a humidifier in one. You just pop the top off, get this wet with distilled water, put it in your sound hole, and then if you're using a pickup, it'll prevent feedback, and it'll also keep your guitar humidified at the same time. Really simple product to use and serves two functions. If you do find that your guitar is dried out and you have sharp fret ends or you, you have a crack in your top, we have two really great techs here, Tony and Wayne and they can help you out with that. They've been working on guitars for a long time. Uh, they're very experienced with that kind of stuff and uh, it's easy for them to be able to help you out with that. Um, talking about temperature, you want to try to keep your guitar at room temperature around 24 degrees Celsius. That's not always the easiest, especially if you're leaving your house. Um, if your guitar gets cold in the car or in transport or if it was cold in your house that day and now it's going to be warm, uh, what you want to try to do is keep your guitar in the case for as long as it was cold. So you had it in the box of your truck for two hours while you were driving to a gig and you get there. Ideally, you want to let that guitar sit in the case for two hours while it acclimatizes to the new climate. Um, a kind of a quick, easy way to find out if your guitar is ready to take out of the case is if you touch the hardware and that hardware is cold, you probably don't want to open it. Um, if it's room temperature, you're probably okay to open it. Um, but, but ideally you would leave it in there for as long as, as it was cold. Um, 
so yeah come bring your guitar by we can talk more about it you can pick up one of these guitar care packs they can help you with uh, go through the same stuff that we talked about today um, if you got an issue Tony and Wayne can help you out with that and come by the Northeast Long and McQuaid Wayne Gretzky Drive where Axe used to be